Thank you. Definitely slightly. Thank you. <clears throat> Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. We'll be reading from Hebrews chapter 10, starting at verse 35 and 36. So now, brothers and sisters, do not throw away the courage of yours, which carries with it a great reward. For you need to hold out so that by having done what God wills, you may receive what he promises. Father God, we pray that each and every person stands on your promises, stands on your truth, and walks in your ways, that their lives may be blessed, that their families may be blessed, that the generations after them and before them may be blessed. We ask that people heed your call, and turn their ears back toward you, towards you, Father. We pray for your continued mercy, blessing, provision, healing, and covering. We thank you, Father God, in advance. And we thank you for all these things in the name above all names. The name of Yeshua HaMashiach and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And what you expect today. We read the Torah scroll, the first five books of the Holy Scriptures, over one full year, each week having its own reading. We are a multilingual congregation using English, Hebrew, and Spanish. The prayers and blessings are led by our cantoral team. Many parts are interactive. We all worship together. Traditional greetings are Shabbat Shalom, or Good Shabbos, which means may you have a peaceful Sabbath. In blowing of the shofar, a call to assemble and worship. Please stand if possible as those trained with the shofar come forward. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great shofar, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Call Shofar. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us here to, to hear the call of the Shofar. Amen. many traditional blessings we have a renewed covenant blessing thanking God for giving us the way to salvation and our Messiah Yeshua Yeshua walked among us filled with your spirit the only one who ever fulfilled your Torah he healed the sick and raised the dead the multitudes of our people sought his touch he taught as no man taught with authority he brought forth the treasures of the Torah how the children sought him, the lepers he touched and made clean. How the despised and outcast found love and release from their sin. How the hypocrites feared him whose words uncovered their sin. Despised and rejected, acquainted with grief, 
he bore the sins of Israel. All we like sheep have gone astray, turned everyone to his own way. Our iniquities were laid upon the king, the sins of the world, his burden to bear. He rose from the dead and opened the way to life everlasting. Praise his name, we are in him. His spirit empowers. New life is ours with joy and peace. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who has given us Messiah Yeshua, our King. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan banu eterech ha-Yeshua, b'meshiga Yeshua baruch Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yeshua. Blessed is he. Amen.
gloria y majestad, eres grande en poder, haces maravillas, quien es como tú, Señor, mi camorra, who is like quien es como tú, mi camorra. Amén. Welcome the bride. The presence of Shabbat we receive, observe, and remember the Sabbath day. The only God caused us to hear a single utterance. The Lord is one, and His name is one, for He renowned His under and he's Chris come my beloved to welcome the bride. The presence of Shabbat we receive. Come my beloved, shake off the dust, to rise, dress in garments of glory, my people, through the son of Jesse the Redemption draws near to my soul. Come, my beloved, wake up, wake up. For your light has come, awaken, awaken, sing a song. For the glory of the Lord has revealed to you. Shabbat shalom. The Amidah, or standing prayer, is the oldest of our traditional prayers going back to the early Second Temple times. There are many parts of the Amidah, and some of the Shabbat portions differ from the weekday sections. Adonai Sephatai Tifta Ufiya my Lord, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. 
the Avot. Blessed are you, Lord our God, God of our forefathers, God of Abraham, God of Yitzhak, and God of Yaakov, the great, mighty, and awesome God, the supreme God, who bestows beneficial kindnesses and creates everything, who recalls the kindness of the patriarchs and brings a redeemer to their children's children for his name's sake with love. O King, helper, savior, and shield, blessed are you, O Lord, shield of Abraham, the Gavrot. You are eternally mighty, my Lord, the one who restores life from the grave, greatly able to save. He sustains the living with kindness, revives the dead with abundant mercy, supports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined, and maintains his faith to those asleep in the dust. Who is like you, O master of mighty deeds, and who is comparable to you, O king, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout, and you are faithful to bring back life to the dead. Blessed are you, O Lord, who revives the dead. Amen. Kadosh Hashem, you are holy, and your name is holy, and holy ones praise you every day forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the holy God. And please join me for Hodu. <clears throat> Oh, do la do nai ki to ki le o lam kasto. Oh, do la do nai ki to ki le o lam kasto. our God, there is none like our Lord, there is none like our King, there is none like our Savior. Who is like our God, who is like our Lord, who is like our King, who is like our Savior? Let us thank our God, let us thank our King, let us thank our Lord, let us thank our Savior. Blessed be our God, blessed be our Lord, blessed be our King, blessed be our Savior. Thou art our God, thou art our Lord, thou art our King, thou art our Savior. Thou art the one whom our fathers offered the spice offering. Amen. At this time, if everybody could face east towards Yerushalayim and cover our eyes in humility to Hashem. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kehoi Malchuto Le'olam Choyed 
Vehafta et Aronai Lochecha, Vehole Vavka of Horn of Sheho, Vehome Odeha, Vehayu had a Verim ha ele asher and Nokim at Zaveha Hayom ala Vehecha, Vishinam Tom Leveneca Veribarta Bam, Veshiteke Veveteke Ulateke Valderek Ushombeka Ufkumeka, Ukshar Tom Le or Ayodeha Vehayu let us afford being in Echa, Uktav Tom Al Mezuzot Veteka Uvish Areha. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be in your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. And you shall speak of them when you sit at home and when you walk along the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be for frontless between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and prophets hang on these two commandments. Amen. At this time, please join me for the Elenu. Aleinu l'shabayach le'adon hakol la'teid kedula le'otze breshi shelo asanu kegayu haratzon velo samanu kemishpekon hadama. Shelo sam chalchenu kahem vegoraleinu kecho hamonam vanachnu korim umeshakavim umotim lifne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh Baruku Shehu no te shemaim ve'yose daret U'moshev yecharu ve'shamaim ima'al U'shkin na'uzo, u'shkin na'uzo Be'gafei me'aromim U'eloheinu e'enoi Emet mo'keinu our duty to praise the master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation. For he made us unlike the nations of the lands and has not placed us like the families of the earth. He has not made our portion like theirs and our lot like all their multitudes. And we bend the knee and bow and acknowledge our thanks before the king over kings, the holy one, blessed be he. He stretches out heaven and establishes earth's foundation and the seat of his glory is in the heavens above and the presence of his power is in the most exalted heights. He is our God and there is none other. True is our king, there is nothing beside him as it is written in his Torah. And you shall know this day and take it to heart that the Lord, he is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. 
And it is said, the Lord shall be king over all the world. And on that day, the Lord will be one and his name one. Amen. <clears throat> Please join me for the Adonalam. Adon Olam Asher Malak Beterem Puyit Iniba Lechna Sa Behel Zofu Azai Melech Shemo Nekra Beacharei Hikor Haku Leba Adu Yiruf Nura Behu Haya Behu hobe, behu yiye, beti fara, behu echai, vein sheni. Leham shilu, lehak bira, beli rishit, beli taklin, belo haos, beham isra, behu eli, bechai goali. of the universe, who reigned before any form was created, when creation came about by his will, then as king was his name proclaimed to be, and after all has ceased to be, he alone will reign in awesomeness, and he was, and he is, and shall be eternally in splendor, and he is first, and there is no second to compare to him, to be his equal without beginning and without end, his is the power and dominion, and he is my God, my living redeemer, and the rock of my pain in times of trouble. And he is my banner and a refuge for me, the portion of my cup in the day I call upon him. In his hands I entrust my spirit, in the time I sleep or am awake, and with my spirit, my body, the Lord is with me, I shall not fear. Amen. <laughs> Moshe rejoiced in the gift of his portion that you called him a faithful servant. A crown of splendor you placed on his head when he stood before you on Mount Sinai. He brought down two stone tablets in his hand on which is inscribed the observance of Shabbat. So it is written in your Torah. Vashamru v'nei Israel et ha-shabbat l'asur et ha-shabbat Israel, 
Amen. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it throughout their generation as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Shem, from Shemot 3116. You did not give it, O Lord our God, to the nations of the land, nor did you make it an inheritance, our king, of the worshippers of graven idols. For to Israel, your people, have you given it in love, to the seed of Yaakov, whom you have chosen. The people that sanctified the seventh, they will all be satisfied and delighted from your goodness. And the seventh, you found favor in it and sanctified it. Most coveted of days, you called it a remembrance of the act of creation. Our God and the God of our fathers, may you be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your commandments and grant our share in your Torah. Satisfy us from your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. And purify our hearts to serve you sincerely. O Lord our God, with love and favor, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. And may Israel, the sanctifiers of your name, rest in it. Blessed are you, O Lord, who sanctifies the Shabbat. Thank you for showing respect to the word of God while the Torah scroll is brought out of the ark by facing the scroll during the procession and standing for the reading. Ta'amod, zili batzara la Torah. Come forward, zili, daughter of Sarah, to the Torah. There is none like you, O Lord, among the gods that are worshipped, and there are no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Source of mercy, let your goodness be a blessing to Zion. Let Jerusalem be rebuilt. In you alone do we trust, O sovereign God, high and exalted, Lord of all the worlds. And it came to pass, whenever the ark went forth, Moshe would say, Rise up, Lord, and scatter your enemies. May those who hate you run from you. Torah will go forth out of Zion, and the Lord's word from Jerusalem. Blessed is he who in, who in his holiness gave Torah to, the, to his people Israel. Vayehi bin Sorach Aaron Vayomer Moshe Kuma Adonai Veafutsu Oivecha Veanusu Misanecha Mipanecha Ki Mitzion Tetse Torah Ki Mitzion Tetse Torah Udevar Adonai Mirushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Leamo Israel Bishutato
the knife and bore her. Bless the Lord, the Blessed One. Bless the Lord, the Blessed One, for all eternity. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of his Torah. Uh, this week's Pasha is Nitzavim from Devarim 29, 9 through 30, 20. Um, today's reading is 30, 15 through 20. Yeah. Atam Nitzavim, Hayom, Kolechem, Livne, Adonai Lochechem, Rashecha Shabbat Oh, sorry. Rashechem Shabbatechem Rekanechem Ushatechem Kol Aish Israel Shefachem, Meshachem, Vegoecha, Asher, Bekev, Machanecha, Mahatev, at Zecha, Ad Shav, Mimecha. Okay. Um, so what we just read in the Hebrew was uh, Devarim, or Deuteronomy 29, 9 through 10, I believe? No, 11. Through 11. <clears throat> um, you are standing today, all of you, before Adonai, your God, the heads of your tribes, your elders, your officials, all the men of Israel, your children, your wives, and the outsider within your camp, from your wood chopper to your water carrier. Each of you is to cross over into the covenant of Adonai, your God, that he is cutting with you today and into his oath. <clears throat> um, and then t uh, the reading from today is Devarim 30, 15 through 20. Adonai appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the opening of the tent. Adonai said to Moses, Behold, you are about to lie down with your fathers. Then this people will rise up and prostitute themselves with the foreign gods of the land they are entering. <clears throat> they will abandon me and break my covenant that I cut with them. Then my anger will flare against them on that day, and I will abandon them and hide my face from them. So they will be devoured, and many evils and troubles will come on them. They will say on that day, Isn't it because our God is not among us that these evils have come on us? I will surely hide my face on that day because of all the evil they have done, for they have turned to other gods. <clears throat> now write this song for yourselves and teach it to B'nai Israel. Put it in your mouth so that this song may be a witness for me against B'nai Israel. For when I bring them to the land flowing with milk and honey that I swore to their fathers, and they eat and are satisfied and grow fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them, and they will spurn me and break my covenant. <coughs> um, 
So, um, something that I think stands out about this week's uh, Parsha is that we see... Can't hear you! <laughs> is that we see, um, in a way, the reaction of Hashem um, to His people turning against Him, um, in a sense. And um, I, I was reading another commentary that was talking about this Parsha that was... Um, saying how a lot of people will talk about how hard it is to um, to follow Torah and how it seems like so distant from the self, but that in reality, um, Hashem tells us that it is like right here with us, that it's really close to us. Um, I think we kind of tend to complicate it a lot. <laughs> um, and then in complicating it, it kind of becomes more intimidating. And so then we turn away and choose not to um, to listen to what Hashem wants from us and, and you know follow his ways and well then that leads to <laughs> what we just read where he says that he will turn his face away um, and with the way that you know everything is going and everybody's always like oh the end is near the end times are coming and everything um, we don't want him to turn his face away from us and to not um, like hear our prayers and everything. We want to be able to have that that communion with him, that communication and relationship so that we are ready for that time when it does come because we don't know when it's coming. Um, and so I think that this portion is a great reminder of, you know, not <laughs> turning away from things because we complicate them or our human nature doesn't want to follow them because they're they're too hard or whatever like that so um yeah i guess i would just encourage everyone to like meditate on the word of god and what he wants us to do and so that we can be ready when the time comes um because it could could be tonight could be tomorrow night could be a few years from now or we might you know oh i'm sorry or we might have to wait you know a really a way longer time but it's better for us to be ready now, um, in case the time is a lot nearer than we think. So, yeah. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet, Lechaye Olam Nata Betocheinu. Baruch Atah Adonai, Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Um, if you aren't already and are able, please uh, rise and join me for the visit. And this is the Torah that Moshe placed before the children of Israel at the command of the Lord through Moshe's hand.
Shabbat shalom. Mm-mm. All right, we will be jumping into the half Torah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bachar Bin Vim Tuvim Meratza Vedirehem Hana Amarim Beemet Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher Batora Uve Moshe Avdo, Uve Israel Amo, Uve Vieja Emet Fatzedek. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chooses the Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel and prophets of truth and righteousness. Today's reading is going to be Isaiah chapter 61, 10 through 63, 9. I will rejoice greatly in Adonai. My soul will be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation He has wrapped me in a robe of righteousness, like a bridegroom wearing a priestly turban, like a bride adorning herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes things sown to spring up, so Adonai Elohim will cause justice and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, For Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness shines out brightly and her salvation as a blazing torch. Nations will see your righteousness and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name which Adonai's mouth will bestow. You will also be a crown of beauty in the hand of Adonai and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will you be termed forsaken. No longer will your land be termed desolate. Instead, you will be called, My delight is in her, and your land married, for Adonai delights in you, and your land will be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so your sons will marry you. As a bridegroom rejoices over a bride, so your God will rejoice over you. On your walls, Jerusalem, have I set watchmen all day and all night. They will never hold their peace. You who remind Adonai, take no rest for yourselves and give him no rest until he establishes and makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Adonai has sworn by his right hand and by his strong arm Surely I will never again give your, give your grain as food for your enemies, nor will foreigners drink your new wine for which you have labored. But those who have garnered it will eat it and praise Adonai, and those who have gathered it will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. Go through, go through the gates, clear the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, Remove the stones, lift up a banner over the peoples. Behold, Adonai has proclaimed to the end of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes. See, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. Then they will call them the holy people, the redeemed of Adonai. And you will be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Who is this coming from Edom in crimson garments from Bezorah? This one splendid in his apparel, pressing forward in his great might. It is I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. 
Why is your apparel so red and your garments like one who treads in a winepress? I have trodden this winepress alone from the peoples. No man was with me. I trod them in my anger and trampled them in my wrath. Their lifeblood spattered my garments. So I stained all my robes. For a day of vengeance was in my heart. And my year of redemption has come. I looked but there was no one to help. I was amazed, but no one was assisting. So my own arm won victory for me, and my wrath upheld me. So I trod down the peoples in my anger. I made them drunk in my wrath, and I poured out their lifeblood on the earth. I will remember the loving kindness of Adonai, the praise of Adonai, according to all that Adonai has granted us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he has granted them according to his compassion and according to the abundance of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children who will not deal falsely. So he became their savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. So the angel of his presence saved them. And in his love, in his mercy, he redeemed them. Then he lifted them and carried them all the days of old. Amen. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Aulam Sur Kol Chol Amim Tzadik Bechol Chadirot Ha'el Chaneman how mer will say, Ham de berum kayeim, she call de parav emet pat sedek. Ne emanata hu adonai elohenu, vene emanim de var recha, ve de var echad mi de varecha, ahor lo yashuv rikam. Ki el melek ne eman virachaman ata baruch ata adonai ha el ha ne eman bechol devarav. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, Rock of all eternities, faithful in all generations, the trustworthy God who says and does, who speaks and makes come to pass, all of whose words are true and righteous. Faithful are you, Lord our O Lord our God, and faithful are your words, for not one of your words is turned back unfulfilled, for you are a faithful and compassionate God and King. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, the God who is faithful in all of his words. Amen. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu, Mashiach Yeshua, Bihadibrot, Shel Habrit Hakarasha. Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten Habrit Hakarasha. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua and the commandments of the renewed covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Our reading today is from John 12, 41 through 50. Isaiah said these things because he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, many, even among the leaders, put their trust in him. But because of the Pharisees, they were not confessing Yeshua, so they would not be thrown out of the synagogue, for they loved the glory of men more than they loved the glory of God. Yeshua cried out, Whoever puts trust in me believes not in me, but in the one who sent me. And whoever beholds me beholds the one who sent me. As light I have come into the world, so that everyone who trusts in me should not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words but doesn't keep them, I do not judge him, for I came to save the world, 
not to judge the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't receive my words has a judge. The word I spoke will judge him on the last day. For I did not speak on my own, but the Father himself who sent me has commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Therefore, what I say, I say just as the Father has told me. Amen. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu hadavar hayamet, bechaye olam nata betuchinu. Baruch ata Adonai, noten habrit ha Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of truth and has planted life everlasting in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Please rise for the Etzkayim. Etzkayim hi lama kazikim ba vetom keha meusha dera keha darke noam Vekonitivoteha shalom Hashivenu Adonai Ele Kavenashuba Kadesh Kadesh Amenu Kadesh Amenu Kekedem It is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and all who support her are praiseworthy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us, O Lord, to you, and we shall return. Renew our days as in the days of old. May he who blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, bless those who have come to honor God in the Torah. May the Holy One send blessings upon them and upon their families and upon all the works of their hands. Amen. May our eyes behold your return to Zion in compassion. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restores his presence to Zion. Sim Shalom. Grant peace, goodness, and blessing, grace, kindness, and mercy to us and to all your people, Israel. Bless us, our Father, all of us together, through the light of your presence. Truly, through the light of your presence, Adonai, our God, you gave us a Torah of life, love of kindness, justice, and blessing mercy, life, and peace. May you see fit to bless your people Israel at all times, at every hour, with your peace. Shabbat Shuvah, inscribe us for life, blessing, peace, and prosperity, remembering all your people Israel for life and peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of peace. And may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable before you, Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. Shabbat Shalom.
You gotta check a donut. So there was a secret though. I actually bought an eclair, but I ate it on the way here. <laughs> it's a chocolate covered one, but it has cream on the inside. Oh, it's my favorite. Absolute favorite. I like the ones with the strawberry On the top? On the inside. Oh, yeah, that's like a circle. The eclair's kind of a little longer. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Mm. Squeeze his mouth. Oh, Was that song that quick? Yes. <laughs> and that went that went super fast. Super, super fast. <laughs> Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, Mishpacha, brothers and sisters, Shabbat Shalom. Well, let's try again, everybody's still mingling, good, it's that time. We're sorry those of you watching that you're not, everybody's fellowshipping, it's, it's. Cohen has an announcement before the word. Sorry, we're reading that. That's okay. Uh, if we can have everybody's attention for a moment, please. Uh, as the Cohen makes her way up here, she has a brief an announcement before we start the message today. I don't have to get on that thing. Yes, I, you, I do. Talk, you no, do. You I do. You do. I talk loud enough. Those people on, on the camera, they can't hear. You have to. Open your ears. Uh, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Come on, Cohen. Come on. You did this to me the last time we Help started. me help you. Help okay. Me help you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, even though my voice is loud enough, uh, October 4th is the three-year anniversary of my father's passing. And this year, I was blessed to be able to finally put his headstone. So on October 2nd, I want to dedicate his headstone, and I would love his family to be there with us. And you are his family compared to anybody else. So it's going to be October 2nd at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I would really love everybody to be there. It's uh, San Fernando 3. Um, it's like if you go where the um what is that thing called where the people are in the wall mausoleum it's behind the mausoleum like way in the back um you'll see me i'm hard to miss um and i would really love to see everybody there to dedicate it with me and um god willing he's there with us and so is hashem and yeshua amen amen, amen. So we're so thankful to have Cohen and the rest of the family here, Brother Will, Sister Heather, the kids, uh, Mr. Isaac, uh, Brother Eli, as he's uh, cleverly roaming around. All right, it's good to see all of the family here. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the Word today. Amen? Amen. <coughs> Yes, that's right. Uh, let's go ahead and welcome Sister Crystal up so she can pray for the tithes and offerings. We're always thrilled by this, aren't we? Everybody who's thrilled by this, give a shout really quick, will you? All right, she's, so she's a little extra anxious coming up. It's perfect. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, Heavenly Father, we thank you for another Shabbat, another day where we can just come and uh, uh, rest in you. So, Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the new month that is approaching. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. May our new year be blessed with love, peace, joy. And, Father, we just thank you, thank you, thank you that we have been loaded with the daily benefit of new life, new grace that is upon us. As we come forth and bring our offering to you, let us bring it with a cheerful heart. And please, uh, uh, as you bring forth your offering, don't forget your, Ro your Rosh Kodesh um, offering as well. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. amen.
that's the father on duty. All right. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. Good job. The, uh, the link for those of you watching online will be placed in the comment section. Also, the address to the uh, location for Cohen's memorial, okay? Yeah. And dedication. That being said, let's go ahead and get right into the word today, amen? So this week's Torah portion is, all right, somebody had the English down, stand, Nitzavim, Nitzavim, y'all say that, Nitzavim, practice now guys, practice now, you could, next week you could be on a, on a train, on a plane to Israel, amen, just practice. Practice, 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 right? Yes. Your blessings, your things. And the purpose of it is it builds consistency. And then when you get to other areas that God leads you to, you'll be consistent in it, right? Amen. There, it won't be something that's obscured or, or strange to you because you'll be consistent. You'll already be used to it. So start now in your faith, in your walk with God, being consistent. Because that's going to lead you to success further down the road. But let's go ahead and get into today's message. Sorry, just organized really quick. Okay. Nitzvahim. This portion is the second shortest Torah portion out of all the entire scroll. This one is always read just before. What's coming up? Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Yom Teruah, right? So it's coming right before... The, the day when it is said that creation began. Why is this important? Because you want to have a fresh start as often as you can, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Or would you rather be tied to your past and your history and no. things that your parents and their parents and their parents did? No way. Right, so this is a fresh beginning. Yeah. A chance yet again to dive into your faith. A, get, a chance yet again to to walk in line with God. And it says, no matter how far you strayed from the path that God has chosen from you, no matter how far, He is always quick and willing to bring you back to His path, Amen. back to the path that He designed for you. So we must stay diligent. And in our consistency, those who love us, those who look to us, will then in their own lives begin to be consistent. And then we will see the success, the blessing of God. Yeah. Let me go further on. It begins with Moshe addressing us. And as my daughter, as our daughter earlier said, Atem, Atem, Nitz, Avim, Chayom. You, all of you, stand this day. Not tomorrow, not last year, not Back when Moshe wrote it. Right now, you are standing accountable before God. Those of you here, those of you watching, those of you just listening as you pass by, you are standing accountable before your God. Let me go further on, though. So this is said both generally and individually. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. In the scripture, it says, all of you... Are standing which day? Today. Before who? God. The Lord our God, right? Amen. So it's saying that all of you, it is saying before the individual comes the kahila. Before the I comes the kingdom. Before the me comes the entirety of B'nai Israel. And then he goes on to mention the different classes, right? The, the water pourer, the wood chopper, the, the heads, the, the judges, the priests, the leaders, and on and on it goes. So it's a twofold. But let me, let me get into it. So this is said both generally and specifically. This mentions each of the classes of people in that day. The heads, 
the drawers of water, the foreigner dwelling among you. And then he gathers them together again. Why does God do this? Why does God both speak generally and specifically? First, generally, then specifically. Kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of. But sometimes we as humans, we have a habit, right? If something's given out, like say, uh, one of the sisters that have the prophetic thing, they come up here and they start, and then naturally, somebody's going to say, well, that's not for me. That has to be for that guy, the one right there. They always do it, right? Somebody will give a word, you're like, oh, I feel bad for whoever that word's for. Man. <laughs> They got a mess going on. Oh, my gosh. Whoo. I have a cousin I can pass that message to. Yeah. Because some of us will get into the habit of thinking, well, that can't be for me, right? I don't do that. I'm not guilty of that. I don't even delve in that area. But... He goes through each of the classes of people so that way nobody can think that they are somehow exempt. Nobody, right? We're all equal. It doesn't matter your class or your status. You are all still equal in God's eyes, which means equally you can all be blessed and equally you can all fall to your own demises, right? Equally you can all rise to the tops of what God has designed for you. And equally, you can all never reach it. That's the beauty of free choice. And also, the downfall of it. Let me go on. He shows the distinctions. And yet, he shows his desire over and over again within this Parsha for each of the classes of people that they should draw close to him and serve him. That he could be their God, that he could cover them, that he could even provide for them. But first is drawing close, right? Well, how's, that, how's that song go? Draw me close to you, right? We're, we're asking for God to pull us closer into him, closer into his presence, closer onto his path. What's the significance of being closer to his path? What's, what's significant about that? More joy in our life. Huh? More joy in our life. More joy in your life. More blessing, more healing, right? Amen. The closer we are to him, the less darkness we have plaguing us. Right? No the more goodness we have blessing us. What? No stress. No sh we're sh stress less, right? Let me go on. And yet he shows his desire for each and every class of people to serve him. That he would extend the promise of his covenant. But let, let's look at that for a brief moment. And I need to drill this in as I've been drilling it in for, the, for this past two weeks. But it's vitally important that you pick it up and start putting it into practice. That way, as I said before, it can become consistent in your life. Because if the blessings of God aren't consistent in your life, there's some gaps there that you need to fill. And don't fill them with worldly junk. Let me go on. Now all of you stand this day. How many people in their life have seen miracles just within the past two years? Places you've been in that you shouldn't have got out of? Accidents that almost took you with it? We've all seen those moments, right? So we all already can testify to the goodness of God. 
we can testify that he keeps his covenant with you. All of you stand this day, each of you, the teacher, the driver, the clerk, the store owner, the homemaker, the baker, each of us stand before God this day. We stand before him in the Torah, drawing each class of person, and then all of us collectively. It is each individual's concern as to the status of the kingdom. This is why he words it exactly that way in the Torah. All of you, in other words, everyone who he created for his purpose, are now all accountable for those classes and that kahila that he's going to mention after he says, all of you. That means we're all responsible. That means if Phil wants to go clubbing, we're responsible to tell him, hey man, that's a bad idea. You know, you stay out way too late, you might get into stuff that you shouldn't. We're all responsible for one another. Years ago, and I've told this story before, but I'm going to say it again just because. Years ago, we were at a kahila, and there was these this parent and their child they were having a loud disagreement in the auditorium. And the parent says, brother, it's none of your business. And I have to disagree. I sincerely and strongly had to disagree then, I have to disagree today. And the reason why I say this, because, you know, like, sister could say, well, Rabbi, what happens in my house is my business, right? And to a degree, she's correct, because she's the priest of that household, because she's the head, right? But, if we're all a branch of his tree, and if one little piece of it gets some sickness on it what happens to the rest of us get infected that are on the same branch what happens we get sick right we get infected it affects our lives our houses our children our spouses and so on and it keeps going because pestilence hops. It hops. You ever notice you don't feel bad till you talk to somebody else who feels bad? Right? You're starting, you're feeling okay, and then you go counsel somebody who has a lot of stuff going on. Then you don't necessarily feel as good afterwards because some of it hopped to you. This is why whenever you see a person of faith go in to pray or counsel somebody, they always pray and anoint themselves before they even go in. Before they even get that show started. Because, no offense, but they don't want what you got. <laughs> Whatever you have, you can keep it in your house. I don't want it in my house, okay? You may like pets. Pets inside your house, on your bed, in, in your in your refrigerator, or what have you. I don't like none of that. None of it. I don't want no hairs on anything. I don't. Nice and pristine. You know. You know. You know. Let me go on. So each person must sacrifice self. We must let go of a bit of our own ego to properly serve the kahila and the kingdom fully. Then it goes in to if you are prevailing in living out your faith, he will bless you and increase you. And again, once more, it says, You are standing today, all of you, before the Lord your God, your heads, your tribes, your elders, your officers, even all the men of Israel, 
even the strangers among you, even the person who hewns the wood and the drawer of your water, everyone. This in itself it is, is speaking about our unity. And throughout Israel, throughout, whether, throughout the globe right now of Israel, you go to two different synagogues, you're going to feel two different vibes, right? Wait, and, and thank you, Zeli, for that word. Let me see that word. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. So, how many people have visited different synagogues? Yeah? Three or four of you. Okay. All right. It, are, is each synagogue, the vibe, exactly the same and, and, and the, the feel and everything? Huh? No. No? One where Rabbi wants to teach, and there's zeal amongst the, the group, and there's one that doesn't want to take the time, and there's no zeal and there's no, there's no passion for the work. Okay. So for you, you felt significant difference, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And, but outside of the people and their, their desire, uh, there is going to be, right? If we went right now to a Reform synagogue that is on fire for Hashem, it's going to be good, but it's going to be a little different, right? We're saying the same prayers, we're saying the same blessings, but still, it's going to be a little different. Because all throughout the globe, we are a united nation, and each of the branches is going to bend slightly in its own way, right? Amen. The important thing is that we agree upon covenant. We agree upon covenant. Our relationship with our Creator. So I want to share two points with you from the verse. All of you today are standing before him. All of you today, you are standing, all of you. He says this without making any distinctions. This fundamental point is that on one hand, there must be unity. This is a must. There must be unity. If you have secondary issues that you don't agree upon, don't let that cause you to divide. Because that is as significant as wanting mustard or mayonnaise on your sandwich. It's secondary. So there must be unity amongst the people of faith. And at the same time, at the very same breath, there must be room for the individual. That means each individual must shine in their own right. That means Mr. Isaac has to shine. As amazing as he is in all that he is, just as Brother Moshe has to shine in his own light, each reflecting the goodness of Messiah and the glory of God. So each have their own unique contribution to make to the kingdom as individuals and then collectively as a Kahila. Point two. You are standing today, all of you, before the Lord your God. As people of faith, standing before the Lord our God gives full recognition that He and nothing else is the author 
of everything in our lives. Amen. This, this testifies to that. When we say you, all of you standing today, this is us testifying that God is God. That there is no other and that he is the one true God and creator of everything. He is the author of our power. He is the ground of our being. So the worldly understanding goes this way. Men will form a group of a community for a specific purpose, to conquer a task, whether it's economic, intellectual, or something else. They share the expense, the labor, the ideas, towards the given end result. Outside this partnership, worldly people remain separate. Oh, I don't want to see you after work. No, I don't want to see you, you know. I, I, and this is the typical worldly aspect. But the kingdom, however, within B'nai Israel, however, the way God intended, however, before the Lord your God. This alone states our purpose. When we gather together, it is before the Lord our God. That means all that we do collectively or individually is all before the Lord our God. God. that you should enter and it's for the purpose that we should enter into the covenant of the Lord our God and stand upon his oath whose oath do I stand upon not on mine although I'm going to try to keep my word at every at every turn right but we stand on his word on his promise which promise is going to get you into Gany Den? Yes. Your promise? Oh, what did you say back there? What? His. I didn't hear you. What? His. All right. His. <laughs> so this encompasses the whole person. Not just his labor, not just his idea, but all is before the Lord our God. All of it. Your labor, your ideas, your thoughts, your being, your marriage, your family, your children, all of it is before the Lord your God. Each according to his capacity. In other words, right there where you are on your journey. Right there where you are, God will meet you. Right there where you are, he'll meet you. Right there where you are, he'll meet you. No matter what that place is, he'll meet you there. Every single time. Sister Crystal, has God ever failed you? No? Let's see, Heather, has God ever failed you? No? Let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a wild one. Sister Lisa, has God ever failed you? No. Okay. <laughs> Mr. William? Are you sure? Okay. You there on your phone. No what? Hasn't what? He's failed? No. Steve? Never? Mr. Phil? I failed him, but That wasn't the question. We're not talking about you, sir, all right? No, he Has he ever failed you? No? Moshe? All right. And last but not least, Elder? Cohen? No? So it's unanimous. God doesn't fail. Amen. Amen. He does not fail. Amen. How about you walking off? Has God ever failed you? No? All right. So it is unanimous. God does not fail. Amen. He doesn't let you down. He doesn't walk away because Amen. you've been too much that day. Of course, not to say that any one of you are too much any day, right? Because, of course, y'all are all amazing. We love y'all, mostly. 
mostly. I put the mostly there as a disclaimer, okay? Because there are moments where I've, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Let's all breathe, okay. We're lucky we have our Father in heaven then. Amen. 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 His patience knows no limit. <laughs> and we can all testify to that. Amen. Amen. Okay, so each according to their capacity. And it is a partnership in good and in everything that is eternal. His partnership with you is eternal. No matter how short or frayed your end of the partnership may be, his end is eternal. It's everlasting. It, it doesn't fail. It keeps going forever and ever. As eternal as the Torah is, so are the promises of our God. Amen. This shows true unity between us and our Creator. The fact that the Torah, like our very own Torah that's been around, going on now, almost 200 years, it's lasted a long time and so does His promise. It lasts, it doesn't stop. Atem Nitzavim Hayom can mean you stand firm this day. But in the Midrash, in the section of Nitzavim 1, the question is asked, when do the people of faith stand firm? When will they be unified? Because if we just look at the outset, We'll say, well, that yeah. it's kind of like the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll be faithful, or I'll, or I'll attend service when, when I have more time, when I have a, when I have more money, when I, when I look prettier, when I gain more weight, when I, as Steve says, when my goldfish gets a cold. I guess I better get a goldfish. As it says, those of you who hold fast to the eternal, your God, are all alive today. Who lives on? Those who hold fast to what? To his promises, right? Those who hold fast to God and his ways. Those are the ones that Deuteronomy says are going to be alive. So, in this Torah portion, as it's speaking about his word, that you don't have to go, as, as Princess said, as she was doing her drash, it, it's right there within you. The more that you walk with his word, the more it becomes relevant in your life. The more you begin to see the blessings and goodness of God in your life and the lives around you. But it's a twofold blessing, just as a covenant. All of them are a twofold covenant. It requires you as an individual to serve and worship your God. But it also requires you as an individual to serve your kahila and the kingdom itself. It requires you to be about your brother's business. To be about the kingdom business. So when you guys call Sister Lisa and ask her if there's anything you can do to help her in her situation. There's going to be, somebody's going to assume there's a situation, right? <laughs> but as, as you call one another and check on one another, it's a part of how it's supposed to be. 
We serve him individually and we have our individual lives and worlds that are made up of our friends and, and acquaintances. But we also have our kahila and the kingdom in a whole. And we're, we're required to honor God in both. And as we grow as individuals, it blesses your, the kingdom. It blesses your kahila. How does it bless your kahila if you mature? That should be self-evident. I mean, that whole question should be really a no-brainer. Huh? Can you say that again? How does it bless the kingdom if you grow as an individual? The more we grow, the more it encourage us, encourages us to bring other people into the kahila. Yeah. Add more to the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. You're adding to the kingdom. Praise. Yes, we're adding more praise to the Lord. Yeah. Because what does Revelation say that we do with the crowns anyway? I'm sorry, what'd you say there? We do what? You guys throw them at them? Sister, that's not nice. She's going to chunk her crowns at, at the king. You see this? I hope I'm there just to watch. All right, now. But we present the king with all that we have done, right? Everything that's good we presented to him because he gave it anyhow, right? So we thank him. This season we thank him. Tomorrow we thank him. Next week we thank him. Every day we get into the habit of thanking him. Because he is amazing. Because he is a blessing. Because he... Uh, let's see if everybody still says yes and amen to this one. Because he has brought you into your assembly. Amen. Oh, some of you actually said amen for that. All right. Wait, look to your neighbor and say amen. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. So God has brought you to where you can grow fully, where you can go grow freely, where we can be an effective branch of his kingdom. An effective branch of his tree. Yeah. Is it our tree? No. No. But we can make sure that the branch that we are on and the little branches that we are bear fruit. Yeah. Right. What kind of fruit do we want to bear? Good fruit. Good fruit. Tray fruit? I, I, I thought I heard somebody in the back say tray fruit. fruit. Who said that? I think it was Anna. We're going to have to watch Anna. Oh, she said tray of fruit. <laughs> oh, okay. That's it. All right. That's what she said. So this season, brothers and sisters, as we are on the cusp of Rosh Hashanah, as we're beginning uh, again, Take a moment and just thank him. Thank you, Lord. Matter of fact, right now we're, we're just going to pause briefly. And right where you are, right where you are, whoever you are, take just a brief moment to thank him. We are entering into the high holy days. You want to enter with thanksgiving and praise. All right, so we're going we're gonna to change gears here. Those of you watching, take a moment to praise him, thank him, and then we'll get into the final blessing. With that being said, uh, whoever has it, please go ahead. Music. Yeah, thank you. We're just going to take a brief moment, like one minute, two minutes, brief. Just thank him. I know it's really insufficient compared to what we should give him. Yes. But let's let's just give him our all for a minute, okay? Okay. All right, with that being said, rise to your feet and somebody give thanks to the God Almighty. Thank you, Hashem, for everything. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Did he die? Die, 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 die. Did he die? Excited for the action of the holy days coming yeah. up? Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. All right, let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Tomorrow we'll all be yelling and eating apples and honey and selling the shofar. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Does everybody have their shofars ready? Yeah. Amen. There it is. There it is. I, I think uh, young brother Isaac said he was going to use his hand shofar. That should be fun this year. Uh uh. It'll be great. It's good. That was a bad joke. Forgive me. All right. Come on, Zeely. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You're right. I got ahead of myself. Forbidden, if you could please. Hallelujah. All right. The blessing over the kiddish. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Bore Priya Gafen Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the Universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. Amen. Amen. And the Hamotzi. 
Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth in the name of Yeshua. Amen. I don't think you guys can see it or smell it on camera, but it smells great. Y'all should have a whiff. Uh. <laughs> All right, take a whiff. There you go. All right. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I guess so. They all sing Madiani? The one we heard this morning? Please gather the next generation. Please, please gather the, 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 the young folks. Oh, wait. They, they are, okay. Stop. All right, those of you that believe, extend your hand towards the future leaders of our faith. Stand under there in proxy for your grandkids. Go ahead. Okay. I got eight now. Wow. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> and my Noah is six. Isim Kha Elohim Ke Ephraim Vechem Manasseh. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. Isim Kha Elohim Ke Sara Rivka Rachel Vilea. Nashem make you like Sara, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Gather with your loved ones, those of you at home.
And these are the words that Yeshua spoke over his Talmudim. These are also the words that Moshe instructed his brother Aharon to pronounce over the sons and daughters of Israel. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Yeshua our Messiah. Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, announcements, announcements, announcements. Rubitsen, do you have any announcements? No? Tomorrow evening at. What time? Tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Join us at American Legion 300 for Rosh Hashanah celebration. Bring your brother, your mother, your friends, your family. Come out and celebrate the beginning of creation and a new season for you, your life, your family, and those you care about. That being said, Good Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. If you need anything or have any questions, send them in.